Minasan, Okarina Sai. So, like I said last time, we've got an overlooked Pandori Seiyu, but this one has actually performed live with the franchise. Sachika Misawa, born January 13th, 1993 in Yamanashi Prefecture. Pretty sure this is my first time ever mentioning this place. She is affiliated with Stardust Promotion and signed to the label Universal Music Japan. Sachika began her voice acting career after winning the Kadokawa Upfront Style Idol Seiyu Audition 2008, though this competition was in February of 2009. This was also the year she made her anime debut as Yuri Gamaguri in Shangri-La. Then she had multiple roles in Dream Colored Pastry Chef, supporting role of Miki Mori, and lead role, Cafe. These two would be her only roles of 2010 as well. Then 2011, she had no new roles, but she did graduate from high school in March and entered university in April. 2012, her year really kicked off with her voicing Ariana in Campione, in the lead role of Kuroba Sayuki, aka Kuro Yuki Hime, in Excel World also singing the second ending theme. In 2013, Seiyu Manami wanted to devote herself solely to being a singer, so Sachika took over her role of Hiroko Funakubo in Saki Achikahen. She then voiced Arisa Mego in a certain Magical Index movie, Miracle of Endemian. She is also credited as having an insert song performance. Though she was cast in Magical Index, she actually sang the third and fourth ending of a certain scientific railgun S. Then she was Reina Takamoto in the Chronicles of the Going Home Club. Great show name. And she had three roles in Fantastita Doll, those being Deadline, AS, and Kagami Totori. She also released her first mini album, Polaris. 2014 is the year with the most roles she's ever had. First, we have Chitaro Namatame in Riddle Story of Devil, singing the sixth ending theme with co star Mami Uchida. Like, that's the seiyu's name, Mami, not me thirsting over Aya Uchida, okay? I promise. Then, Riot Arish in Ald Noah Zero. And next is Minami Azuma in Tokyo ESP. Ikumatsu in Bakumatsu Rock, also having a insert song performance. Finally, Yukari Kohinata in Loco Doll, singing the opening and first ending, both with co-star Miku Ito. Aside from her roles, she sang the first ending theme for the mecha show Argavolin. 2015, her only new role was Sachiko Yonazawa in Castletown Dandelion. So close to the character having the same name as her. But now, on to 2016. She was Kichitora in Yanbo. And actually, something interesting here, she was Rin in a music video for the song Shelter by Porter Robinson. This year was also the year she graduated from university and released her first best of album, Infinite Selection. 2017, Saika Nonowo in Sakurada Reset. Great cast in this show. She was also a lead character Mikoto Ishino in Tomika Hyper Rescue Drivehead. Yeah, what a weird show name that is. This year was also the debut of Bang Dream, the anime at least, and that means her role of Mocha Alba, the guitarist of the band Afterglow. This is one of the bands that does not perform live, but stay tuned. 2018, Tena Kisaragi in Butler's Battlers, also singing the ending theme, and Sakuyo Mikage in Magical Girl Or, having an insert song performance as well and she began her role of Sakura Bakushin O in the Uma Musume Pretty Derby series. 2019, she actually had a pretty big role, that being Sakura Akino, aka Cosmos, in Oisuki, and singing the ending theme with the other ladies of the main cast. She was also Kravitz in Bakugan Battle Planet. And now for the really cool thing, when I said Afterglow doesn't perform live, it is common for the lead singers to come on and perform, but Sachika isn't the lead singer. However, she played guitar as Mocha with Raise the Ceiling during their Genesis show at the Bang Dream 7th Live. 2020 was basically all second or third seasons of prior shows, but with one new role, Mimu Takuhashi in Sports Climbing Girls. This year was the release of her first full album, I Am Me, which had her fourth single, Kono Te Wa. The first three I mentioned already as ending themes for anime, just in case you were wondering. But this song was also kind of marketed as her re-debut as an artist. The album also had a fifth single, which was actually a double single, I Am Here and With You. The final thing for this year would be that she left her current agency at the time, Spacecraft. Later, she would join Stardust Promotion. 2021, same thing, new seasons of old shows, with the new role of Karu Kurita in Wonder Egg Priority. You already know the talent in the show, I don't need to tell you again. But her second mini-album, Shinkoku, was also released. This year of 2022, all she's got going so far anime-wise is reprising her role of Sakura in the new Pretty Derby special episode. This year, she also even held her first solo live. But also, very recently in June, her agency announced that she will be taking a break from all activities due to an unspecified health issue. And now, we are on to video games. Surprisingly, she's not in Magia Record. 
but she's in some of the other games that everyone is, like Dragalia Lost, Grand Blue Fantasy, Azir Lane, and Onsen Masume. Onsen Masume is such a weird concept, man. I just I don't get Japan sometimes. Other gaming roles would include Estrella in five different Sword Art Online games, those being Infinity Moment, Hollow Fragment, Lost Song, Hollow Realization, and Fatal Bullet. Also the crossover game Excel World vs. Sword Art Online Millennium Twilight as both Estrella and Kuro Yukihime. Other noteworthy games would include Akiba Strip 2, Infinite Strato's Archetype Break, Cookie Run Kingdom, and Fire Emblem Three Houses. And of course, she has her roles in the Bang Dream and Ume Musume games. She doesn't seem to have any live action dubbing roles, but she does have one live action credit for a drama show, Nana Honjo, from season 21 of Kasoken no Ona. Time for those fun facts and hobbies. She used to be the co host of Afterglow no Yuyake Studio, together with Hisako Kanemoto. I say used to, but I'm actually not sure entirely if they stopped doing this or not, but I don't see the posts on Benjoy's YouTube anymore, so... She needed a part-time job in her first year of university. She also always wanted to try being a shrine maiden, so one day she went into the office and asked for a job. They accepted, and she was in charge of receiving the money and handing out amulets. This was only for a week or so, however, during winter break. She said she was a loner in university and is bad at making friends in general, though she did continue to say she didn't exactly go out of her way to make new friends. Also, she ended up repeating a year, I would assume due to missing class because of a lot of work. Miss Misawa is one of the better Garupa players, and she has a YouTube channel where she posts vlogs, game sessions, and videos of her singing. Actually, she even used to run a YouTube channel for her old agency, Spacecraft Entertainment, but since she left there, the channel has been deleted. She loves spicy food, and actually uses the spice to help clear her nose when her allergies act up. She also really loves cola, but I definitely wouldn't recommend having that after spicy food. Sa-chan's hobbies include choral singing, watching comedy shows, poetry, and playing electric guitar. One of her special skills is typing, and she has an odd special skill where her fingers are very flexible, being able to bend her thumb all the way back and spread her fingers way further than they should. I actually wonder if this had any influence on her learning guitar since it's actually a perfect trait to have for that instrument. Her favorite anime are Mobile Suit Gundam 00 and The Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya. She owns two cats, Kion and Miyu, despite having a cat allergy. Kion totally being named after the character from Haruhi Suzumiya. And she has a little brother, who she is very protective of. She actually has kind of a big little brother complex. Sachika is very good friends with Sumire Usaka, whom she has dubbed as her waifu. She is also very good friends with Ayaka Ohashi. She admires other seiyuu, Maya Sakamoto, and Yukari Tomura as well as Hello Project member Karin Miyamoto and ex-member Momoko Suganaga. But I think the person she loves the most is Yui Ogura. That woman literally goes nuts for Yui. She has a driver's license and had an official fan club called Sachi Cafe, which was created on January 13th, 2020, but ended when she left her old agency. Her new fan club is Misawa Seeker. The final fact, back on November 23rd of 2017, Sachika was appointed as one of the main ambassadors for her home, Yamanashi Prefecture. And with that, we have reached the ending. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. As of writing this script, I am unsure of what it'll be, but I took an Instagram poll, and it seems that you all want to see more Iris members and other popular, more traditional seiyuu. So, look forward to those. Hi, <laughs>